Hey everyone, it's Angelica Violet. Welcome back to my channel. I like to speak about body positivity, tattoos, and everything in between. So keep watching this video if you want to see some body positive talk. Also make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to join my community. God, come on, we need some more members. Also trigger warning, I speak about weight and diet culture in this video, so feel free not to watch this video if that may be triggering to you. Thank you. For someone that wants nothing to do with the beauty community, I'm sure do make a lot of get ready with me's. So today I'm just gonna be doing my makeup and chatting because I feel like I feel like this is the only way I can like talk without like doing like a whole really like sophisticated video. So I'm just going to do my makeup. I bought a bunch of stuff from Ulta the other day because I realized that I had close to no makeup. I spent $80 that I didn't have which is always fun. Thanks PayPal credit card. You are the vein of my existence. So if you've been keeping in touch with my channel, you know that my arm is broken. I got surgery on Wednesday and I've been like trying to vlog and keep in touch or just like, I don't know, just like try to do a vlog just to see like, I don't know, what's up. And it's really hard to do a vlog when you are on painkillers and all you want to do is sleep all the time. So that's a bit of a fail. So I just took a two hour nap because these Norcos just make me fucking pass out. And I'm making some buttered noodles because that's about the only thing I have in the house. As well as anything that sounds appetizing, so. And that was so much fun. I am so excited for the show on Tuesday. Until then, we kind of have... Also, if you haven't watched my newest video, my hair is purple again, thanks to my friend Jordan. I forced her to dye my hair because obviously it's very hard to do that with one hand. So, God bless Jordan and link in the cards so you can go check out that video. I just love having purple hair and I feel like I'm back to my old regular self with this purple hair again. I'm looking a bit pasty in this lighting. Well, so like I did mention earlier, I did get surgery on Wednesday, and it was a very um, interesting experience, to say for the least. I cried a lot before I even was changed into my little smock, but that's beside the point. Um, I guess that the main thing I want to talk about today is weight, because. I mean, what else is there to life besides how much you weigh, what you look like, and how society perceives you, right? Okay, that was a bit intense, but, um, so when I went in on, so when I went in to get surgery on Wednesday, um, they had to weigh me, obviously, because I was getting anesthesia, and I was like, hey, listen, bitch, like, I have problems with eating, and, like, I have an eating disorder, please, just, like, don't even tell me what I weigh, don't say it out loud, like, I don't even want to see it. And she's like, oh, like, completely understandable, like, it's in kilograms anyway. So, and of course, you know, United States, bitch, I don't, we don't have the metro system, so should I get weighed and I don't even know what the fuck it means. Like, it could say that I'm 4,000 pounds right now and I wouldn't know because it's like in kilograms. But, and so I just saw my weight in kilograms and I was like trying to go back to my education and figure out the conversions would be and of course like I don't fucking know because why would I know conversions of like kilograms to pounds so I just had like the number in my head it was 107.6 and I was like all right well I don't know what that means fucking kilograms so so like that number didn't even like scare me or anything which is cool because I didn't want to hate myself for the 18th time for knowing how much I weigh and at the beginning of the summer I don't even know when this was June or maybe July I had to go to the gynecologist to get weighed and get some birth control because we stay not getting knocked up because we can't afford ourselves, let alone just another human being. And I told him the same thing. I was like, don't say how much I weigh. Like, it's triggering. I'll like, go home and like cry myself to sleep every night. And I was able to make out like a number that they wrote in their chicken scratch, but like not essentially anything. And that made me really upset because I haven't weighed myself since God knows when because of all my problems. So that really triggered me. And then I guess fast forward to now. Um, today is Saturday and I just had to go through a bunch of my paperwork because of course I have like doctor's bills up the asshole because of just having to go to the doctor and like be a human. So I was going through my paperwork and when I initially fractured my wrist, I went to the 
urgent care. They, and of course I told them, I was like, don't tell me how much you weigh. Like I will probably want to go jump off the high rises and blooming to normal if I see my weight. And of course they didn't tell me, but they printed it out when I was discharged and of course they totally ignored that sheet of paper because I didn't want to be upset because I'm the queen of being upset. So, but I was going through all my paperwork today because Pablo and I just had like a mountain of fucking mail that we needed to go through. And I just flipped over to my discharge summary and I saw my weight. I weigh 233 pounds. And regardless of that is more or less than how much I actually weigh because I was like completely swollen and clothed when I went to the doctor because of that initial break. Like I saw that number and like I like it literally just felt like a fact out of a history book. Like I literally didn't care that it was there or that it pertained to my body. And I mean, I'm sure it would have been different if I like stepped on the scale and saw the numbers go up, but just being able to read that number and not freak out was like really huge because that is something. Even like a couple months ago, if I saw the number, I still would have freaked the fuck out and wanted to do something to lose weight as fast as possible. But for some reason today, I am just like, whatever. Like, I just don't give a fuck. And I'm not too sure why I am just not caring about my weight for once, but it's like a spectacular feeling because I am not associating my weight with my value and that is something that's very challenging to do in the society because when you are seen as fat or putting on weight it's like you're letting yourself go and not taking care of yourself but to be honest this is the best I've ever taken care of myself in forever because I am working full-time I'm doing whatever I want I'm staying on top of doctor's appointments I'm in a healthy relationship there is like nothing more that I could ask for right now and whatever, if you want to say that I'm overweight, like, go ahead and tell me that I'm obese because I really don't give a fuck because my worth is determined by your opinion or my BMI or whatever. But, like, it's just awesome that I was able to just see a number and not, like, want to freak out and cry because literally every other circumstance in my life, I have basically become suicidal because I've seen how much I weighed. Just doing some more blush because why the fuck not? I'm getting really good at doing makeup with one hand, so, I mean, I know you usually, like, do makeup with one hand anyway, but with my, what's the opposite of dominant? I don't know. With my left hand, my not dominant, non-dom hand. Okay, I know I look like I'm literally not doing anything, but let's just pretend that I am because it makes me feel like I'm really strong and good at doing my makeup. Beautiful, right? Sorry, my arm kind of hurts. <laughs> doing my makeup with my fucking broken paw this is a lighter brow shade than I usually go for but it's easier to do a lighter shade than like fix a darker shade especially when my arm is broke so I just try to layer this a little more Ooh, I also love that my brows are looking so thick -ums. I remember I'd always like try to grow up my brows so hard in high school because I wanted to be like thick brow queen and I would still like over pluck them all the time but now I'm just like ooh, ooh. all right let's get back on to this weight discussion like I said four seconds ago I weigh 233 pounds and I'm completely content with that numbers like that shouldn't hold meanings I did weigh less than that um, a couple months ago and I'm completely fine with how much I weigh because I feel like people associate their worth with their weight so it's like oh you gained x amount of pounds so it's like all right well you were the sweetest kindest and smartest person on earth but now that you've gained 10 pounds um all of that has been completely all of that does not contribute to who you are and now you're just all fat lard <laughs> and that's totally not true like just because you weigh a certain amount of pounds or kilograms or whatever, depending stone, however you weigh yourself, I don't know where you folks are from, but your worth is not defined by how much you weigh. And that's what I was thinking, like, as soon as I, like, started to, like, process, like, that I just saw my weight and I, like, didn't want to go cry myself to sleep, I was thinking, like, I was thinking how my worth hasn't changed since I weighed a different amount in previous months. I mean, granted, I haven't, like, really weighed myself in a long time anyway, but, like, 
I know I weighed a lesser amount of weight while I was still in college just because I was more active and eating a lot less. Nothing about my poor personality has changed because I've put on weight. If anything, I think I've literally gotten better. I think I'm a better person, I'm a better human, I'm more patient, I've been going to therapy, and I'm like forming into the person I want to be, which is insane to think that while I do place an important on my appearance because obviously I love getting tattooed and I love having purple hair and that's some things that I think are very defining to me. It is not the end all be all. Like if I were to be stripped of my appearance, like I wouldn't feel like so out of body and like have an identity crisis because yes, your appearance is what people see of you first and it does lead to first impressions and stigmas and stuff like that. It's not who you are. Like if someone I loved were to describe me, I wouldn't want them to be describing my physical appearance. I want th wouldn't want them to be like, oh, the purple hair girl that's slightly overweight with tattoos. No, I'd want to be like, oh, Angelica is caring. She's smart. She's whatever. And I think that's something that we need to value more than just our appearance, what we look at in the mirror. It's who we are is like a whole identity not just like what image we see in the reflection of a mirror because I don't know what I want to do for the rest of my makeup because lashes are too hard to do. I'm looking so juicy. I guess I'll do a little mascara and that's just about it. Oh my god, the sun is in my fucking eyes. Also sorry for this piss poor ass lighting. I'm sitting in front of my window. And this is what we get at noon. It's noon on a Saturday. I feel like it should be about 3 p.m. right now. I can't believe I grew these lashes out of my eyes because they are looking spectacular. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I am just freaking gorgeous. And I have mascara all over my fucking leg. So I'm going to try and do my hair with the best of my capabilities and then BRB. Alright, let's just throw my glasses and put some clips in my hair because this is the best that we can do today. So if you enjoyed this video, give me a like and subscribe because let's just have a beautiful body positive community done. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out.